Austin throws a party at his parents' house. The next morning, he finds out that someone had robbed him. The thief took all the money and jewelry from the safe locker. Austin video calls four of his best friends and says, Someone robbed my house yesterday. Do you have any suspects? Mary says, I'm sorry, but I can't believe it was one of the guests. Julie says, I spent all evening downstairs. I didn't even come close to your parents' safe. So I didn't notice anything suspicious. Bob says, No way. Every single guest at the party is pretty wealthy. Maybe it's the pizza guy. And Rick replies, but Mary showed up with a stranger looking like a criminal. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that he's the thief. Can you guess who's the robber? Julie. Austin didn't mention the safe. How did she know? This pen is only half filled with ink. How many words can it write? Pens cannot write even a single word. It's the person holding the pen who can write the words. One of these customers is not from Earth. Can you spot who? This guy is eating toothpicks. What about this company? Who's not from Earth? This person, who uses a laptop as a mug holder? Bobby, Stella, and Chris are having a roller skating contest in the park, but one of them is cheating. Can you guess who? Chris, take a closer look at his feet. His roller skates are not so simple. Wendy is selling flowers. One sunflower costs $24. The price of one narcissist is $9. Can you calculate the price of one calla lily? The price for one calla lily would be $1.50. Each flower costs $1.50 per petal. And a calla lily only has one petal. George and Nancy are having dinner in a fancy restaurant. Can you spot three weird things here? The violinist is using an arrow. There's a toad in these flowers. And this waiter serves a bitten apple. Emma, Ted, and Peter are having a speed swimming competition. Can you spot who's cheating? It's Ted. Take a look at his neck. He has a small chip. Therefore, he must be a robot, and he can't compete with humans. Andy and his wife Nancy go to sleep early tonight. In the middle of the night, weird noises from the basement wake Andy up. His wife is gone. Andy looks around the house, but Nancy doesn't answer. Andy goes down to the basement. Suddenly, a creepy clown pops out of nowhere and tries to grab Andy. But Andy just laughs and says, Stop fooling around. I know it's just a prank. How did he know? Take a look at the picture on the wall. Nancy and the clown are wearing identical sneakers. Bob visits this coffee shop every day because he's secretly in love with the local barista, Kelly. But today, he faced unpleasant news. Someone had replaced Kelly with her evil clone. How did Bob know? All Kelly's piercings and tattoos are gone and no marks are left on the skin. Billy downloads a dating app to find his love. He finds three ladies and likes them equally. Elle is a travel blogger, vegan, and a huge fan of rom-coms. Ashley is a school teacher. She loves hiking and writes her own novels. Bella is a scientist. She's very busy at work. That's why she never has had a serious relationship. She's fond of ice cream and sunrises. Unfortunately, only one of these three profiles isn't fake. Can you help Billy ask the right lady out? There's a wedding picture on Bella's desk. 
therefore, she's a liar. Elle says that she's a vegan, but she's eating a hot dog in this picture and a steak in this picture, so she's a liar too. So Billy should invite Ashley. Shelly runs an online shop. Although all her employees live in the same city, they only meet online. This morning, their Zoom call was interrupted by a stranger. Can you spot the imposter? It's this lady. All employees live in the same city, which means in the same time zone. But take a look out her window. It's a deep night. Dan is hiking in the woods during the last weekend of March every year, but this time he gets lost. Dan wanders around and finds this sign. He should choose one of the three routes to get out of the forest. The first route leads through a village of mutants. They hate people and no one has ever managed to escape from them. The second route is across a very old suspension bridge located under a river full of toads and worms. The third route leads through the habitat of a large family of bears. Which way is more or less safe? It's spring now, so the bears are awake and probably very hungry. Also, it will be difficult for Dan to deal with the mutants all alone, so Dan should take the second route. Even if he falls into the river, nothing bad will happen. Toads and worms don't bite. Rosie is baking a delicious chocolate cake in the kitchen. It's a gift for her boyfriend. When it's ready, she puts the cake in the fridge and goes upstairs to take a shower. In a while, Rosie returns to find out that someone had cut the cake and eaten a few pieces. Rosie questions three of her roommates. Samantha says, How dare you? I'm on a sugar-free diet. Pam says, I haven't been in the kitchen today. I'm too busy with my studies. And Harry says, I opened the fridge two minutes ago and the cake was full. Who ate the missing pieces? Nobody. The roommates pranked Rosie. The spoiled chocolate cake isn't Rosie's cake. Take a closer look. It has a different decoration. And her cake is still in the fridge, in this box on another shelf. Tom is having a job interview. The HR manager likes his resume and asks him one final question to check his logical thinking. These toothpicks indicate a group of fishes moving from west to east. Can you make them move in the opposite direction by moving just three toothpicks? Here's the solution. Victor is riding a bicycle in the park. Suddenly, someone throws a spray can of blue paint at his head. Victor loses balance and falls. He finds three suspects and interrogates them. Alex says, I was just sitting on the bench and reading a book. Barbie says, I was skating and didn't see any paint cans. And Ashley says, I was painting graffiti, but soon I noticed that someone had stolen my blue paint. Who threw the paint at Victor? Ashley has paint on her hands, and that's okay because she's making street art. Alex has stains on his t-shirt, but it's just a design. And why would Barbie have blue stains on her hands if she didn't see any paint? Anna is waiting for her boyfriend, Stan, in a restaurant. He shows up with a box of donuts and goes straight to Anna. Suddenly, he slips on the wet floor. What is Stan trying to say? The donuts say, marry me? Stan is proposing to Anna. Fred sits down at a barbershop. The hairdresser says, you must be a visitor here. I love to cut strangers. It's better to serve two strangers than one local. Fred asks why. Can you guess the hairdresser's reply? Serving two is always more profitable than one. I have hundreds of legs, but I can only lean. Make me feel dirty so you feel clean. What am I?
I'm a broom. The CIA arrives at Chris's house this morning. They suspect that he's a criminal. He sells stolen art to other criminals via Instagram, but Chris denies everything. Having searched the apartment, the agents find his phone. There are three suspicious people among his followers. Can you spot the criminal? It's this guy. His nickname literally says, Top Secret. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Animals are awesome. They radiate charisma, confidence, and vitality. Here's a brief quiz that will help you find out what your very own guardian animal is and adopt some of its amazing authentic traits. Pick your answers. Don't forget to count your score and see the results at the end of this video. Pick the landscape that you like the most. African Savanna adds two points to your score. If you chose these beautiful tropical flowers, add three points to your score. Snowy Mountains add zero points, and Coniferous Forests gives you one point. Here's the next question. Do you feel connected with animals? Nope. Of course. Well, it depends. I like them more than humans. Option A adds one point to your score. If you chose B, add three points to your score. Answer C costs two points. And D brings you zero points. How would you describe yourself? Smart. Beautiful. Lucky. Hardworking. A adds one point to your score. If you picked option B, take two points. Option C adds three points. And answer D brings you zero points. Pick the sky and clouds that you like the most. This delicate surprise brings you three points. If you liked the thunder clouds, add one point to your score. Romantic sunset lovers get two points. And the starry night sky brings you zero points. What do you do if you see a spider in your home? I scream and run away from home. Nothing. I let it go. I take a picture. I give it a name and we become best friends. Option A adds zero stars to your score. B brings you one point. Answer C is worth two points. And D brings you three points. What taste do you prefer most of all? Salty? Sweet, spicy, neutral. If your choice is option A, add one point to your score. Answer B adds zero points. Answer C brings you two points. And answer D is worth three points. What are you scared of the most? My own thoughts. The dark being a failure, insects. Card A brings you one point. Option B adds two points to your score. If you chose C, add three points to your score. And answer D brings you zero points. Do you feel like a leader? I don't, but who if not me? Never. That's the worst job ever. Always. I like to control everything. I wish I had enough courage. If you picked option A, add two points to your score. Option B brings you one point. Option C is worth three points. And answer D brings you zero points. If we ask your best friend to describe you in just one emoji, what would it be? Laughing, crying, poker face, heart.
A brings 3 points to your score. If you chose B, add 0 points to your score. Option C brings you 1 point, and option D adds 2 points. Would you rather work in a group or alone? Alone. In a group. Depends on the task. I prefer working in pairs. If you picked option A, add 3 points to your score. Option B brings you 2 points. Option C is worth 0 points. And answer D brings you 1 point. Which music genre do you like the most? Classical. Rap. Disco. Rock. A adds 0 points to your score. B brings you 3 points. C adds 2 points. And D adds 1 point. If you could make one wish come true, which one would you pick? To be immortal. To become super beautiful. To become super rich. To make all creatures in the universe happy. A brings you zero points in this round. Option B adds two points. C is worth one point. And answer D adds three points. If you could pick just one of these four jobs, which would you choose? Firefighter. I'm ready to take risks to save lives. Fashion designer. Making people look beautiful is my passion. Pilot. Flying makes me feel so free. Chef. Preparing food always makes me happy. If you chose A, add 1 point to your score. Option B brings you 2 points. C adds 0 points. And answer D brings you 3 points. Are you confident? I try to be. No. Yep, I'm the most confident. I tend to overthink every action. If you picked option A, add 3 points to your score. Option B brings you 1 point. C adds 2 points. And answer D brings you 0 points. What do you usually do when you feel upset? Talk with my therapist. Go outdoors and play a sport. Listen to music. Go shopping. If you chose A, add 0 points to your score. Option B brings you 1 point. C costs 3 points. And answer D brings you 2 points. Pick one element. Air. Fire. Water. Earth. If you chose A, add 0 points to your score. Option B adds 2 points. Option C is worth 3 points. And answer D brings you 1 point. Do you get along with your family? Not really. I take care of myself on my own. Yeah, I can't imagine my life without them. We share some similar interests. Well, let's just say I'm still waiting for my magic school invitation. If you chose A, add 1 point to your score. Option B brings you 2 points. C adds 3 points. And answer D brings you 0 points. Pick an item of clothing. The hat brings 0 points to your score. If you picked the glitter coat, grab your 2 points. The pair of jeans brings you 1 point, And the swimsuit brings you 3 points. Pick the dance style that you like the most. Ballet dancers bring 0 points to your score. The contemporary dancer brings you 3 points. If you pick the tango, grab 1 point. 
and the Brazilian Carnival brings you two points. Which one represents you? Cozy, funny, kind. Modest, loyal, trustworthy. Careless, adventurous, spontaneous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Option A adds three points to your score. Option B brings you one point. If you chose C, you get zero points. And answer D brings you two points. Pick a flower. Lilies, mysterious, just like me. Daisies, they give me a peaceful and warm vibe. Peonies, there's something royal about them. Narcissus, they're so soft and elegant. Card A adds one point to your score. Option B brings you three points. If you chose C, grab your two points. And answer D brings you zero points. What pet would you rather have? Cat. Dog. Bird. Iguana, obviously. Card A adds three points to your score. Option B is worth two points. C brings you zero points. And answer D brings you one point. Ready for the results? Make sure you calculated your score correctly, and let's go! If your score is between 0 and 16 points, congratulations! Your guardian animal is an owl. The wise creature protects you from all kinds of troubles and helps you through difficult times. It also makes you attentive enough to see fake friendships and the evil motives in other people. Sometimes you might feel insecure like you're from another planet, but don't give up. Allow yourself to make space for long-term prosperity and well-being. Whenever you face injustice or feel less confident, your owl guard will help you calm down and step into your power again. If your score is between 16 and 32 points, your totem animal is a wolf. You probably like to stay in the shadows and allow your noisy friends to take away the whole spotlight. Your soul guardian teaches you to value independence, self-sufficiency, and calmness. Walking alone and journaling can help you rediscover your authentic self. People tend to perceive you as a deep, mysterious person. They want to learn more about your inner world. So, if someone ever violates your boundaries, just make one of those angry wolf looks. If you got from 32 to 48 points, your soul protector is a lion. This animal can teach you to overcome pride and egocentrism in order to become a kind-hearted and generous leader. People come to you for advice all the time because you radiate confidence and humor. Every dream seems possible when they're around you. Although, your supply of love for people is almost inexhaustible. Sometimes, you need a break. So, manage your energy wisely and don't allow people to take advantage of you. If you got from 48 to 66 points, your guardian animal is a whale. It can teach you to vibe with the ocean and enjoy life as it is every step of the way. This feeling of oneness, unity, and wisdom will help you navigate through life as if you are dancing with the waves. Try to cherish this state of mind and observe the drama of life from a detached point of view, like an experienced film director or a music composer. This will give you the capacity to invent progressive solutions that improve people's lives and the environment.